Our memory verse of the day is found in Psalms 5 verse 3. Listen to my voice in the morning, Lord. Each morning, I bring my request to you and wait expectantly. Please repeat it with me. Psalms 5 verse 3. Listen to my voice in the morning, Lord. Each morning, I bring my request to you and wait expectantly. Today is a day that the Lord has made. Welcome to our Children's Church Show! Hi Kuya All! What have you been doing since we last talked? Thank you for asking Teacher Leah. I have been busy studying and I also ask for help whenever I need to finish projects in school. That's great to hear Kuya All. You are a good example to other students. Good as to you, Kriyal. Do you know what time it is? What? It's story time! David is well known as the young man who overcame the giant Goliath with a stone from his sling. He was also a talented musician and songwriter. After winning the battle with Goliath, David was invited to play his harp before King Saul, who was calmed by the beautiful music he played. David was skilled in writing songs of praise to God called Psalms. They were poems to set music. In the lyrics, David spoke of God's greatness. 
O Lord, our God, the majesty and glory of your name fills all the earth and overflows the heavens. You have taught the little children to praise you perfectly. May their example shame and silence their enemies. When he was young, David cared for his father's sheep. He knew that God would care for him that way. The Lord is my shepherd. I have everything I need. Even when walking through the dark valley of death, I will not be afraid, for you are close beside me, guarding, guiding all the way. Some songs are prayers, forgiveness. O loving and kind God, have mercy, have pity upon me, and take away the awful stain of my sin. O wash me, cleanse me from the guilt. Let me be pure again. Give me again the joy that comes from your salvation and make me willing to obey you. Then I will teach sinners your commands and they will turn back to you. Other psalms are prayers for help or rescue. I am weak and poor. Come to me quickly. O oh God, you are my Savior and my Lord. Heart to my aid. David often sang about the importance of obeying God. God, how can young people keep their lives pure? By obeying your commands, with all my heart, I try to serve you. Keep me from disobeying your commandments. I keep your law in my heart so that I will not sin against you. Open my eyes so that I may see the wonderful truths in your law. I am here on earth for just a little while. Do not hide your commands from me. My heart aches with longing. I want to know your judgment at all times. Happy are those whose lives are faultless, who live according to the law of the Lord. Happy are those who follow His commands, who obey Him with all their heart. They never do wrong. They walk in the Lord's ways. I love your commandments more than the finest gold. Every law of God is right. Whatever it concerns, I hate every other way. David wrote and sang many songs of praise and thanksgiving to God. I will be glad and rejoice in you. I will sing the praises of your name, O Most High. Now, let's prepare our hearts and minds as we listen to Chaplain Josh. Kamusta, JCA? Our story is about David. He always spoke of God's greatness. David was a man after God's own heart. From the time he wakes up in the morning, he prays. The first thought on David's mind every morning was of God. Just like David, make time every morning to spend a few minutes to seek God's presence. Pray! Prayer is our way to talk to God. God is always listening. God hears your heart. God listens when you pray. In Psalms 116, verse 1 to 2, I love the Lord because He hears my voice and my prayer for mercy, because He bends down to listen. I will pray as long as I have breath. Remember, God hears His people. God hears us when we pray. God protects His people. God hears your heart. Wait for God's answer gladly. Matthew 5, 8 says, God blesses those whose heart are pure, for they will see God. Hanggang sa muli po, God bless you and praise the Lord. Thank you, Chaplain Josh, for the Word of God you shared today. And now, children, we want to know what you've learned from our story today. Psalm 51, verse 10. Great it be a clean heart, O God, renew a loyal spirit within me. Matthew 6, verse 21, wherever the pleasure is, there the desires of your heart will also be. 
John 14, 1. Do not be worried and upset. Jesus told them, Believe in God and believe also in me. Matthew chapter 5, verse 8. God blesses those whose hearts are pure, for they will see God. Psalm 47, 4. Take the light in the Lord and we give your heart desires. Thank you. Proverbs 10, verse 8. Sensible people accept good advice. People who talk foolishly will come to ruin. Did you know that David is a man of prayer? He trusted the word of God. David prayed with expectations that God would answer his prayers. prayers in your timing. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord, please create in me a clean heart. God, God bless, bless and, and goodbye. goodbye. It's huddle time. Do you seek God first when you wake up early in the morning?